Good morning. Am I late? No. No, you're you're early. I'm, I'm early. early. Everyone's here. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Thank I'm you. Great. For, thank you very much. Thank you for coming coming with me in the car. Of course, it's my pleasure as always. And did you have a good weekend? A restful weekend? The weekend was was fantastic because I I catch up with a Corky Siegel or this week's soloist so brilliant that was great because you're personal friends with him yeah of course because we we met each other uh first time in germany uh three years ago and he's based in chicago actually and i went last year to new york and i, I became really sick and they took care of me and uh, it was it was quite quite touching so everything great oh so good i'm pleased perfect weekend and a lot of study because upcoming week is quite demanding yeah so for everyone is that what you do normally when you um when you're here for several weeks at a time do you do you spend your week in studying or do you get some time to go out and and enjoy some of auckland it's more it's more about studying and have a rest have a swim yeah and catching up with some people but not too much visiting around because there isn't isn't enough time yeah sure do you um is there anything that you particularly miss while you were away from home home being dresden yes mm, i mean here's always everything about work and so I, I don't have enough time to think about what i what i would miss Okay. I'm missing nothing here in particular because it's it's all about work, sleeping, <laughs> being relaxed for work and that's it. Okay. And do, is there anything when you touch down in Auckland that you do straight away? Like is there a favorite cafe that you have or anything like that or something that you must do when you're here? There's actually uh, in at the ground floor in Metropolis is a little pizzeria, a little pizza place. Yeah. And it's it's originally uh, original Italian pizza, so I do like it, and I have minimum four or five pizza uh, every stay here in Auckland. So it's quite <laughs> delicious. That's su sustenance for a conductor is, is pizza. Do you miss anything like um, driving, for example? Do you do you like to drive when you're back? Not home? at all. No. Because I think the traffic in Auckland is somehow different to the traffic in Germany. I mean, in Germany the traffic is, is uh, always busy as well, but the driving here is a little bit unsteady and a little bit chaotic. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I'm not really keen and I enjoyed always to, to, to uh, walk around the streets and to use a taxi, so it's fine. Yeah, you can catch up on work and, and things like that. Yeah, yeah, of course. Do you, um, when you are in the plane, do you like to um, or study some more or do you read a book what do you like to do um, actually the time on the plane was always the best time all over the year because it was absolutely relaxed no emails yeah no Wi-Fi but time has changed so it's Wi-Fi is now available yeah and you can work on your emails and you can you can keep working always but um, actually on the plane I'm focused uh, to have a good meal yeah. And and I'm really happy about some sleep because it's always the best way to avoid the next jet lag. And so I guess you're obviously very concerned about keeping your health and sustenance for when you have a concert. But what happens in the on the odd occasion that you might be unwell? Has it ever happened that you're too unwell to, to perform or do you just uh, push through? I, I never, I never, uh, I think... I wasn't. No, I've, I always conducted every every evening and every concert in Auckland, uh, of course. Yeah. And it it was, I think, one concert or two concerts in my life. I, w I went sick. I went really sick. So I had to say, no, it's not possible. But here in Auckland, um, uh, I conducted everything, everything, yeah. even I felt a little bit unwell. Uh, the climate in, in New Zealand is sometimes a little bit dangerous for for us Europeans yeah. <laughs> okay what about you variable yeah yeah Music. two variable changes so but uh, now I'm feeling well and of course I know what I have to expect if I'm coming from summer to uh, to New Zealand yeah and Did, so I'm, I'm fine then. it's not like you know in, in many jobs if you feel a little bit like you've got a cold or something you can just take the day off you can't do that because there's no. obviously lots of people re relying no. on you <laughs> No, it's not possible. And and, and look, uh, my whole education, my whole time as a as a schoolboy was always very tough. So, 
I'm absolutely okay to say, okay, go through and doesn't matter, doesn't matter how you feel. Sure, sure. Now, um, I remember last year when Ragna Shema came to, to visit us, she revealed on radio your nickname, Eki. Is, mm -hmm. that, is that what people, your friends call you or is that a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it, I do have a, a sort of, sort of a nickname. It's, it's another thing from my, from my really, uh, Childhood, so yeah, it's another name. But Eki, Eki is a normal, normal way to call me in, in, in Europe, but only, only in a private, uh, in a private sure. environment. So uh, I see. I had actually a German nickname. My mother used to call me Puppa. Like I think it's a doll. Puppa. 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 It's a doll. It's like a doll. A yeah, doll. A little doll. Yeah, yeah. Puppy. So yeah. What, <laughs> what's what was your childhood nickname? Uh, it's it's the it, it's my. Family name, so Stier and mm -hmm. Stieri, so it's it's like like a, the sweet the sweet right. the sweet Stier. Ah, oh, lovely. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what do you um, love most about um, Auckland? And in in terms of maybe not necessarily working in Auckland, but perhaps some of the other things that people love about Auckland. I mean, of course, Auckland has a lot. Uh, has a lot of, of activities, outdoor activities, so mm. that's it's very lovely. And of course, I, I, somehow I love the climate because mm. always it's always fresh air. Even we do have this lot of buses here in, in <laughs> Auckland. But um, yeah, and what do I what do I love? Of course, beside work, I'm I'm loving to conducting the APO. It's not always work; it's joy because it's always related to to fun and to some sort of excitement. So that's always a, a big deal for me. So it's great. Oh, good. And what kind of, um, perhaps, you know, when you're back home and you are relaxing or driving, what, what music do you like to turn up loud and listen to? It depends from the time of the day. So, mm -hmm. of course, I'm a big fan of, of jazz music. I'm, I'm a big fan of big band, big band playing. And, but but the variety of the music is is always changing. So I've, I do listen to to crossover music as well, and I do listen, of course, to rock and pop sometimes, but only sometimes. And if the quality is really nice, so I'm listening more to the um, to the text of the music. But um, yeah, most most of the time I'm listening to jazz. 